Hey, what's going on everybody? It is your boy Tech or Ratchet and today we have some pretty important information that suggests that Call of Duty is going to be more on the PlayStation side of things in terms of receiving the DLC first. So if you guys didn't know, Call of Duty and Xbox have had a partnership in the past few years where the DLC comes out first on Xbox Live as well as all the events are powered by Xbox and have Xbox branding over them as well as the trailers and live streams and stuff. Now this could be changing soon and we have some pretty solid piece of evidence to support it. So starting off guys, the most logical evidence is that PlayStations have sold double as compared to Xbox Ones. So it makes, it's naturally from a business point of view, it makes sense to go with PlayStation. Also PlayStation have more subscribers to their online service PlayStation Plus as well as more revenues from their online store. So more consoles, more revenues, more money for Activision. Activision loves money. Now guys, secondly, when T. Martin and Ali A and all the YouTubers went to play Call of Duty Black Ops 3 early, they played it on PlayStation 4s. So this is the first time this has ever happened earlier on early events. It used to be played on Xbox One, so that is pretty convincing evidence that it's going to be a PlayStation 4, you know, exclusive type of thing going on. Uh, now, secondly, the PlayStation social media has been really active with the promotion of Black Ops 3. In fact, the PlayStation YouTube channel uploaded the trailer for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 a month, uh, um, an hour earlier than the Xbox channel which is definitely not a coincidence. Also, they've been pushing a lot of Black Ops 3 on their Twitter as well as on YouTube. Uh, then, also guys, the bottle of a new flavor of Mountain Dew was leaked and it's supposed to have this promotion with Call of Duty Black Ops 3 as it does every year with Call of Duty where you get double XP codes with the pack of Mountain Dew. But if you guys go over to, to the Dew and Doritos website, you guys can see on screen, presents Warframe all year long you and Doritos are teaming up with PlayStation to bring you closer to greatness with rewards for your favorite games now Black Ops 3 promotion with you and Doritos all year long with PlayStation Black Ops 3 PlayStation kind of makes sense there now the third piece of evidence we have is the Call of Duty website itself this is not connecting the dots this is not a guess and an assumption this is the actual official Call of Duty website. If, so if you go to callofduty.com slash buy slash black ops 3, a page loads up as you guys can see on screen and the PlayStation 4 version of black ops 3 is the first option. Now, the reason this is so big is for every single previous Call of Duty till now when you load up this page, you get Xbox. So as you guys can see on screen for Advanced Warfare, the Xbox One version of the game popped up. So they're clearly trying to push the PlayStation 4 version of the game. Now, that is all I have for you guys today. Um, PS4 could be getting the DLC a month earlier as compared to Xbox, but I would prefer it to be, you know, there shouldn't be any exclusivity deal. Uh, it logically, it makes sense to, you know, release the DLC on the same date for all consoles. Uh, but anyways, this is all a game of business and money and who pays more. So we'll see how it goes. Right now it's looking like it's going to be a PlayStation 4 exclusivity deal kind of thing. I would prefer if it's nothing. It's really silly of course that one console gets it a month earlier and the other console has to wait a month. It's really pissing off too. You know, I, I was thinking of this idea of where people who get the season pass would get the DLC or maybe like a week earlier. Not a month. A month is too extreme. To, yeah, to, you know, just give back to the supporters of the series. But anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Whether you guys want the PS4 to get the exclusivity and let the Xbox people suffer for a month uh, to get the DLC later. Or do you guys, you know, prefer without an exclusivity deal, which probably won't happen because again, as I said, whoever pays more money gets the exclusivity. Um, so let me know what do you guys think if you want to stay it on if you wanted to stay on Xbox or move to PlayStation and I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below and I will see you guys next time I'm signing out peace